did you move here for the for the music scene? <laughs> I moved here for the weed. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a good reason um, too. I but I, I just so happened to jump into the scene because I've been doing music since I was like twelve years old. So, it's, okay, it's, I love it. <laughs> yeah, have you been um, like performing since you were? Yeah, in a sense, I did theater when I was in high school. I did theater all four years of my life, and then mm -hmm. I went to college and studied theater and film. So I've been, you know, fairly familiar with performing, I guess. Mm -hmm. So when you hit the stage to perform your music, you're already comfortable up there? Yeah, I guess okay. so, yeah. Uh, so for, for people who are new to performing, um, I have a couple friends who just started performing music in, in, in Portland. Mm -hmm. what, what advice would you give to um, people who are, like, nervous to be on stage, like, to get over that stage right? Practice. You, you, you can't really overcome a fear if you don't really face it. And sometimes, like, just embarrass yourself. Yeah, a lot yeah. And like, like, you'll be fine. After this. <laughs> I mean, I, I've taken my fair share where, you know, I thought this was this was the moment and I kind of just like choked and thought I had it, but it just, it just takes the time, repetition. Mm -hmm. You can't just sit on your craft. You can't sit on your, your, your what you want to do because you have to open up eventually. Yeah. Have you performed the thesis before? I have not. This is time? my first time. Okay. Yeah. Are you excited? Oh, I'm very excited. Um, I've just kind of been following it for a minute, and I mm -hmm. feel like hey, this is my time. Yeah, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been going for a while. I try to make it every month um, mm -hmm. because it's like I, I've never gone to a bad show there. Like, there's always amazing artists, and like every time I go, the lighting gets better and yeah, the audio is just oh, amazing. Uh, so elements it's like everything just come is, together. Yeah, yeah it keeps improving like every time I go. So, mm. um, yeah. So, what is um, the, your favorite place that you've performed here in Portland? Like your favorite venue? My favorite venue. Um, Kelly's and, Olympian, uh, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love Kelly's Olympian. That's actually the first venue I've performed at. So, shout out oh, Kelly's okay. for this. Yeah, shout out. Um, my favorite would have to be, I was at uh, Mighty Mo's. Uh, like barbecue or something like that. Tanker. Uh, tankers, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was actually where I performed. I feel like my longest set, and mm -hmm. I had the time of my life. Um, the energy was great. I feel like the setting was perfect. I feel like um, I just received it, and that in that moment was able to receive the right energy to be able to just like give the crowd what it like what they wanted to see. Right, and to feel comfortable kind of being yourself too. Right. Yeah. So. Cool. So do you have anything um, coming up in the near future that you want to tell, tell your uh, audience before yeah. you go to Soundcheck? Um, so uh, currently I'm working on uh, my third installment to my album, Love Piece 3, which is funded by Music Portland. Um, I was granted the Echo Fund, so um, oh, I was nice. fortunate enough okay. to be able to have them support Congrats. my journey with this yeah. album. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, currently, though, in the making, um, in like the next three weeks, I'm going to be dropping an um, a EP that's related to the album called Love Peace. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Peace Please. Mm -hmm. And um, that's just going to be some snippets that I um, like put together working with one of my uh, producers, uh, Tacos, Tacos Productions. Mm -hmm. So um, those are some things to look out for. This is the thesis pre-function. Yeah. Oh yeah, thank I'm you for being here, Khalil. Khalil's your real name too? And your, and your artist name? Yes, it is, it is. All right, and what, what is the, what is your origin? Your name origin, if you don't mind asking. Yeah, no, I'll be, be happy to share. Uh, when I was thinking about what I wanted to do, you know, so many artists flip their names to create a new alias and persona. I was thinking about it and I was like, I've always really just been Khalil. Like everybody who's known me never really refers to me by my last name. So I had two different last names. Because when my mom remarried, I took my stepdad's last name. And so I really just always been Khalil. So I was like, I just want to embody what's myself and give people that. But I try to extend this very genuine piece of my heart and spirit. And then also, I was named after the poet Khalil Shabbat. Okay. That is. So Khalil, what kind of music do you make? You say, uh, if you can put it into a category. I mean, I do a lot, so it's hard to lump it into one category, but my main thing is like this blend of, I say we're the West Coast meets the West Indies. Because my, uh, my pops is from Trinidad, and I grew up watching him play in like reggae bands, and soccer bands, and all that kind of music. I grew up with that kind of my musical palette. Mm -hmm. And then started to like fall in love with rapping and hip hop myself, like middle school kicking with the homies, freestyling, and doing all that. And uh, so I try to like take those two things, mm -hmm. put them in a pot. Yeah. I, I produce also and like songwriting for other artists. So I, and I grew up playing the drums, so I've been in rock bands, so, like pop music, R and B stuff, all sorts of different shit. Yeah. Um, and did you grow up in Portland or you said that you moved here from somewhere, but did you how long have you been in the area before? Yeah, I lived in Portland from the time I was born till I was twenty one. Oh wow. Or like right before I turned twenty one. Mm -hmm. So I lived all over. I was born in Selwood. 
Shout out to someone. <laughs> so, down by the river coast park. Mm-hmm. I've only been there one time. Like, people told me about it, and then I went this past summer, and I was like, why have I not been there? <laughs> It's um, yeah, it's beautiful and it's so close to downtown. So go check it out if you're in the Portland area if you haven't already. I think that's probably the last one to check it out. But um, oh, at least you made it. yeah. So what do you think of the Portland music scene? How how do you think? I guess a two part question. Uh, how do you think it's changed over the years? Like, because you've been here for a while. Um, hmm. that's a good question. I mean, I love what's happening out here overall. Like, I feel like Portland's always more a creative city. Like, that's what draws and attracts yeah. people. Yeah. So you literally you walk down the street and you're looking at five or ten artists everywhere you go. You know? mm-hmm. And I came up around like a lot of the elders and the music scene now. I was like definitely involved and nurtured around that from youth. So I've always kind of just seen the different segues of it. I feel like we got a lot of talent. We got a lot of spirit. I feel like I'm seeing nowadays more like together they started to emerge, which I like because that's always something important we talk about is this. The community. Like we struggle to have like, the infrastructure, yeah. you know? yeah. like, there's so much talent and so much dope stuff happening everywhere you look, but who's like bridging the gaps and, and we trying to actually uplift the city as a whole. So that's cool to see happening more. Yeah. And I made it my goal to kind of bridge the gap between here and Seattle because it's really not that far of a distance away. And like, that's I feel like, no, 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 but I went there for, for a show and I did um, some media for them. And I was like, how come I don't know of really any artists from Seattle? Like, maybe that's my fault, but it just seems like the culture is very different between um, Seattle and Portland. So, you know, if we can bridge the gap with our with our close-by neighbors and just like, yeah. you know, build the community for, for the music scene, I think. So I think that's the way it goes. Music is meant to go worldwide and on being music because it's okay. a global language. So you don't ever want it to be constrained to an environment. Yeah. Yep. So, what? Which? Uh, which artists influenced you? Like when you started making music, what? Who influenced you? I mean, I have a lot of influence from like, like I said, kind of the reggae culture and then the West Coast hip hop culture. So, like, I'd say definitely like. I grew up listening to a lot of like Rob Marley, Wu I was gonna say that because I don't know too many uh, reggae artists, but that's like, yeah, that's like I don't want to be cliche, but I, I mean, go into like, a lot more people. Like, 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 because I was, I was the little kid watching like Bob Marley concert videos while everybody else was, you know, watching Power Rangers and Barney and stuff, yeah. sitting there with a little city yeah. pretending I was playing along and singing. So. That's cool. And then like, yeah, I could go into a whole list of a lot more you know, reggae artists, but definitely. That's a, a big person for me. Who was a big pillar. Now, whole family really, I'm very inspired by like the legacy of what their family did, how they got to the sons and how the grandkids and all of that. So then, like, I listened to a lot of like Snoop Dogg and Nipsey Hussle was a big person who was a pivotal person in my my approach to hip hop as well. So that's, that's a few people. Yeah. So in your daily life, what what inspires you to to create music other than music, uh, other than other music? It's really like therapy to me, I guess, in an extent. Because like I said, like I've always really been doing music since I was a kid, but there was times where I kind of disconnected from music a little bit and my life went more downhill when I did that. So I got to a point where I was like, okay, I need something to keep me grounded and help me have an outlet to let me get the things off my chest that I need to and just to have something positive to focus on. Sure. You know, so that's really like when I'm creating, it's really just about like giving myself what I need to not lose my composure, you know, and to be able to share, like, the stories that I've been through, you know, fluctuations of my life, because I've had a lot of blessings and a lot of torment, you know, at the same time, how do we find, like, motivation and gratitude in that, trying to share it with other people. Yeah, you know, that's what most people say, too, is that it's a form of therapy for themselves, and then also it's, you know, they want to provide therapy or, like, just some, you know, relate to other people, so other people listen to the music, and, like, feel like they're not the only ones I feel like a certain way, so that's really cool. Um, if you could change one thing about the, the Portland music scene, what would it be to make it better? You mentioned community, but is there something else? Um, what would I change to make it better? I mean, there's a few things I could really jump into a whole list of things, but if I was to pick like the top one or two things, maybe would be still, I feel like there's still only so much segue occurring, even though you're starting to see more of it between different pockets of community here. Like there's still a certain extent of these people are doing this, these people are doing that. Yeah. So they got that a little bit everywhere, but like we need to see more like events, like we need to create things where it's literally like, this is about Portland music versus just about these couple people. Like we need summer festivals, we need things where we're not all like, you don't have 10 different 
200 person shows going on in a bunch of different venues at the same time. But now you've got a whole day where we just filled out the waterfront with all local music or something. Yeah. Have you been to uh, Pax Music Fest? Uh -huh. oh, well, it's, they don't have it anymore because um, people like, it was just too dirty. Like, people were throwing beer cans and shit. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not like a fancy IPA, but it's still a thing. But anyway, it was like, um, I went last show I went to, I saw like ASAP Rocky, I saw Lizzo, and yeah, it was, it was wild. It was really cool, but you know, it wasn't local music, so something like that. Um, you know where they have the Blues Festival by the waterfront? Yeah. yeah. Something there where it's more like local music, I think would be really cool. So maybe yeah. we'll figure, out, figure something out how to do that. Because I actually um, was talking to somebody about doing that, but it's like, you know, that's that's a big deal. It'll take like eight years to set that up. Yeah. Hey, but if you ever just let me know how I can help, I would love to be. Let's do it. Let's get like all the um, the musicians of the city together and yeah. figure something out. We just need to yeah. work. We need to make what we need to make our own Portland uh, Musicians Union. Let's do it. Hey, it's starting right here. This is these are the co-founders, the founders. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, do you have any projects that you're working on, or like any projects that you want to tell your fans about? Yeah. Um, I mean, right now I'm really in this mode of completion because I've been working for the last like four or five years or so, just developing my sound. I've released like a decent amount of music, but I've also been working in studios as an engineer and producer and doing a lot of things yeah. outside of that. And this is like this past six months or a year or so is the first time I really got to where I'm like, all right, I want this to shift to being the main thing that I'm doing now. So I have like three different albums I'm planning out right now. And pretty much the music's done. I'm just making a master and getting them put together so I can have like a year long project roll out. Yeah. Um, I got a couple singles that I'll probably be putting out within like the next few months in the midst of that. So we'll okay. on that. So there'll be some little surprise joints. I just released two, um, this song right at the top of the year on the first. Me and my brother uh, King Theo, if anybody knows who that oh, is. Okay. Yeah, I follow King Theo too. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's your brother. That's, that's, cool. that's my life, brother. We're not blood, but he's, uh, he's yeah, from Trinidad where my vibes is from. So, you know, we, we share. And my vibes were born in the same town. So. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. Um, do you guys, have you guys collaborated yet on any projects? Or? Yeah, we actually just, that's what I was saying. We just put out a song called The One. On the oh, first, okay. It's like a smooth yeah. reggae kind of joint in the loop. Trinidad West Coast reggae fusion vibe. So that's the last thing I just was reading. That sure that sounds cool. Um, so is this your first time performing at the thesis? Uh, no, nah, this will be my second time. Okay. I came out last year in April, I think it was, with a uh, catering headline. Mm -hmm. We came for that night. It was me and catering and uh, Don Knock, this Jamaican brother from uh, New York, and uh, this girl lived from Seattle. So that was the first time I came out. It's a new round two. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, are, are you excited about it? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. a laid back dude, so I'm always just Yeah, trying, same, but, um, same. Once I get on stage, I, that's where that's so that's I get to turn my energy off. Yeah, you keep the energy in and then you let it out on stage. Yeah, yeah I love that. Show. Yeah. 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 yeah, of course. Well, I know that you get to sound check, but thank you so right. much for doing an interview with me. And maybe we can do like a longer interview in the future. Oh, you know? so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, that's I'll see you later at the thesis. Yes, you will. Kelly's Olympian. <laughs> we are here at the thesis pre-function. What's Refugio? Refugio. I didn't want to mess yeah. Refugio. Am I saying that right? Refugio? It's, yeah, Refugio. It's like okay. a H kind of thing. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, is that your real name? Or? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, two people in a row that go by their real names. You don't see that very often. <laughs> yeah, so um, have you you performed at the thesis before, right? Yeah, okay. from last March, too. Oh, okay. So you do it like you're going to do it like, once a year kind of thing. Is that cool? <laughs> I'll be there whenever they want me. <laughs> yeah, I think I, yeah, I saw you last year. Um, so yeah, I was like, why is he not familiar? So I'm not really excited there, but are you excited about, about performing? I'm very, I'm very excited, yeah. I, I like, I just, I love coming to this like every month. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I try not to miss it, and so I'm always excited that I get a chance to, because yeah, yeah, it's like a, never miss it's a good community. Yeah, for sure. yeah, definitely. Like you see a lot of the same people mm -hmm. go every single month, and I, I try to make it every single month. Yeah. I'm surprised that we haven't hung out yet at the thesis. <laughs> Kelly's mm -hmm. Olympian, go there right now. Um, <laughs> so, are you? Have you been in Portland for a while? Uh, a little bit, yeah. So I'm from Vancouver. Um, mm -hmm. It's been like Maybe. two years. Yeah, it's been like two years that I've been like kind of, well, like a year and a half that I'm trying to, you know, get out there and like crop music and stuff. Um, Only a year and a half? Or yeah, a little you less. you making music before that? Or can oh, you sing before? Yeah, or? yeah, I've been making music. I like, the first time I recorded myself was probably like, I was like 14 or 15. Oh, wow. But I was like writing music like when I was like 11 or like 12. Um, wow, yeah, I was doing the same thing, but nobody wants to hear what I wrote. <laughs> it was hip hop, but it was. <laughs> so do you, yeah. what type of music would you say that you make? Like which uh, genre do you think? Uh, I feel like, 
it's kind of hard because like a lot of them I have out now, like I have one album out, and it's really like more like conscious, and, like, conscious political. And but like I, I make like I think I make a lot of more, like diverse stuff, and I think yeah. if you come tonight to see, check it out. You'll yeah. see yeah. like <laughs> some like very different sounds all over the map. Um, I just love to like experiment and like yeah, just grow the artists. Like uh, I did it last year thesis March, and I'm not doing like any songs I did last year because I just all new stuff. Yeah, all new stuff. Kind of fresh. Yeah, what, kind of, yeah. what kind of political stuff do you talk about here with the lyrics? Um, political and like, kind of like social things, like... Um, like social justice type stuff? Yeah, uh, I speak a lot on like, around, at least on that album, like I spoke a lot about like kind of my experiences being like from like a Mexican culture that's really like, you know, conservative and like religious and like they are a certain way mm -hmm. and like how, you know, it's like, it's, it makes you really hard to like, find yourself because yeah. you're like kind of tied to these constraints of like mm -hmm. what the people around you think like people yeah. closest to you know like the kind of thing you like use the people yeah and uh, just like navigating stuff like that yeah it's do you like, think sorry go ahead you know just a lot like a lot of things that were like going on like the last like fucking like, 10 years like i mean i started making music um or, like, a lot more in like 2014 and like a lot of stuff mm -hmm. going on then with like you know like police brutality and shit when i first started like really learning about that kind of stuff mm -hmm. all the way until like 2020 and you know, beyond you know, much yeah. before that too. Yeah. If y'all didn't know, it's my new thing. <laughs> now you know. Um, yeah, that's really cool that you talk about you know stuff like that. Because some people are just gonna talk about bottle popping, which is cool too. <laughs> and like you know, F and B, it's just. But I really yeah. appreciate when people you know actually have some meaning making in their in their lyrics. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, do, you, <laughs> do you feel like um, like music musicians that you grew up listening to uh, kind of influenced you to think more out of the box? Because you said that in your culture, like things are very constrained, very strict. Yeah. Do you feel like music was something that kind of was like a door for you? For sure. Like, I guess not necessarily like a direct kind of thing, but more of like, you know, um, I just like, it was like music was such like an escape kind of thing and like a, just like you just like immerse yourself in it um, and kind of like take those things from like the artists that I grew up like listening to and like really resonating with and like, you know, like how can I like do this on my own thing? Yeah, sure. Yeah. What's, um, what's an artist that influenced you that would you say is like your biggest influence to start making music? To start, um, Kanye or Eminem probably. Um, I don't really listen to Eminem like that now, but when I was like 11, like I would go back to like Marshall Mathers and yeah. all that shit. Well, I listen. I like recently started listening to Eminem. And I'm like, oh, he probably talks about like some, you know, stuff that's not PC, <laughs> yeah. but he's like. You know, his stuff still, mm -hmm. you know, holds true today. And still, I mean, yeah. lyrically, like, technically, he's, like, he's, like, one of the best. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, sorry, to, yeah, sorry to say, but, like, he, his stuff still holds up. He definitely, doesn't. I think a lot of it has not aged for me. Like, I listen to it now, and I'm like, all right. I would not sit down and listen to this. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I listen to it still, but it's like, it's embarrassing. Like, I'll love it in my car and like, I hope nobody I know is, like, sees me listening to it. <laughs> but, yeah. So, who's one of your um, favorite artists today, or like somebody that you, okay, that's a, it's a two part question. Who's like your favorite artist today, and who would you most like, like to collaborate with? Would you collaborate with? Uh, I think, like, just a, um, like Kendrick or Frank Ocean, or by the two. Um, I think, like, yeah, Kendrick, I think, uh, has, like, influenced on me, like, the most, I would say, just because I, like, I, like, just the way that he writes, and um, there's, there's just, like, so much depth to, like, you can't just, like, really listen to it and just, like, grab everything for first time. Like, I love shit that, like, makes you think and um, just, like, makes you, like, dig into the words, and, like, it's just, like, yeah, um, but shit, collaborate, yeah, Frank Ocean, Kendrick, like, those, those two are, like, have they collaborated before, the two of them? I don't think okay. so. They no. should. They should. Frank Ocean and Kendrick, they need to collaborate because <laughs> like very different types of music, that. but um, I think, you know, they're both very versatile, so I think we can make yeah. that happen. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, is there anything that you um, have coming up? Like, any new songs or anything you want to tell your audience about? Yeah. Um, should I have just been trying to drop music more. Um, I released album in August 2021, and then I didn't release for like a year almost. And so like in November, I was like, all right, I'm just going to start dropping shit because I have like like 100 songs that I made last year and like none of them I have any plans to release so I'm just like alright I'm gonna start finish it out so I've been doing like two songs a month I'm, I got two more songs in March I'm gonna do one of them tonight first time I performed it I made it like two weeks ago and oh, I was like oh this is great yeah I'm probably gonna drop like two albums this year oh, oh shit okay you'll figure it out going on tour 
much. That'd be nice. I gotta, I'm, I'm trying to build up. I'm trying to build up. Build up enough music and yeah. all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It sounds like you have enough already, but it's, it's, it's got you know, to it's a lot. You've got to get it first. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. I'll let you get your sound check and I'll see you later. Cool. Thank you for your music. Yeah, sure. I, I, to. Thanks. Nice to see you. Oh, and where can we follow you on Instagram? Refugio Raps. R E F U G I O R E P S. Go get in the pod. Yes, sir.